back once again to another video brought to you by the friendly people at PowerDirector Made Simple. Today's video is part two of a revisit to the various functionalities of title editing. If you have not already watched part one, I suggest that before you go any further in this video, you drop back and watch video number 74, Title Editor Revisited Part 1. Now I'll start by looking at a very similar setup as Part 1, only this time I have a stock video from Getty Images and the default title on my timeline. Now let's assume that I want to make multiple changes to the text in the title as well as add some special effects, none of which can be accomplished by the direct editing in the preview window. I'll need something a little more powerful. There are actually two different such editing menus in PowerDirector, the Quick Edit menu and the Advanced Title Editing menu. Let's start out with looking at the Quick Edit menu. To enter the Quick Edit menu, either double-click the title template on the timeline or select it and click on the Edit button just above the timeline. For the most part, this menu has not changed much. It's just knowing how to get there that may have changed over the years. The Quick Edit menu has two main tabs at the top, Title and Animation. I'm going to start with the Title tab. The first thing to notice is the text input box at the top. Entering text here is the same as entering it directly in the preview window. You may find entering or pasting text into this box a lot more convenient than changing it directly in the preview window. Under that is somewhat of a mini text attribute tool, very similar to what you'd see if editing directly in the preview window. I should point out one icon often overlooked by many users. It's that strange funnel looking icon just to the right of the font selector. If you hold your mouse over it, it will say filter by language. If you didn't want to see all the available Asian fonts, just select English. Under that are 20 predefined presets that can make your decisions about text attributes quick and simple. You cannot save any custom presets in the quick edit mode, but if you were in the advanced menu, you could save your custom presets there, and then those custom saved presets would also show in the quick edit menu. Now, under the presets are some special effects that can be applied to the text. For example, I'll select the title in the timeline and then click on Fire. Let's watch that effect. And finally, there are five additional attributes that can be applied to the text. Just so that we can see these more clearly, I'm going to change the font size up to 26. Now back at the attributes towards the bottom, to add any one of the first three, you must enable it by entering a check mark in the box and then make the changes. For example, under font face, it's checked so I can either blur it or change the opacity. Or I can add a border around the text characters by first entering a check mark. I can then choose a color for the border, such as red. I can also change the size of the border by moving the slider bar to the left or right. Or I can blur the border using a similar slider bar. Or I can change the opacity. For now, I'm going to leave the size at 3, the blur at 0, and the opacity at 100. Under that is the shadow effect. I'll enable it, 
And the first item is another option called Fill Shadow, which may puzzle you at first. Cyberlink's official description of this is that it will fill the gap between the text and the shadow. Now you won't really see the effect of this until the next setting of distance is increased somewhat. For example, with a distance below 5, the fill shadow seems to make very little difference. But now I'll increase the distance to 10 and then enable the fill shadow. And now you can see the real difference. I'm going to set my distance to about 5 and keep the fill shadow enabled. Once again, there are the blur and opacity sliders. I'm going to set my blur to about 15, but I'm going to keep the opacity at 100. The next item is the blend effect. It is often overlooked by many users simply because they don't understand it or know how it works. Its function will blend the pixels of the title with the clips above it on the timeline. Now let's see how that works. Other than opacity, there's only one main choice here, the blending mode. When I click on the down arrow, there are eight different modes. And the definitions of each are something that I never remember, so a little trial and error is what I tend to do. Okay, now don't worry. There won't be a test on these at the end of the video. Now you know why I said it tends to be a, an opportunity to just use a little trial and error to determine which one looks best. And for this particular title, on this particular video, I think the overlay blending mode looks best to me. I'm going to show this one more time in full screen mode by hitting the letter F on the keyboard. When I hit play, notice the transparency of the blue characters in the text. You can see the surf moving right through the characters. Returning back to the normal PowerDirector window, the last item in the title tab is the position and size option, as well as a rotation value. Now, I seldom use these options here because I find it easier just to manipulate the title in the preview window using the control gadgets around the perimeter. If you change any of the scale values in the quick edit menu. Cyberlink gives you no method of maintaining the aspect ratio, which can be done if you're using the preview window only. Now next, I'm gonna click on the animation tab at the top. All of these choices that you see affect how the title first appears on the screen. That's the in part. And then how the title possibly might leave the screen. That's the out part. Now, if you want, it is not necessary to have any animation assigned to a title. You, control, you can control its appearance simply by its duration and where you move it on the timeline. But if I want to add some extra flair to its appearance, I'm going to click on the In tab, and I'm going to select one of the possible animations. Now, unfortunately, Cyberlink does not put these in alphabetic order, so it's just a matter of finding the one that you want. I also wish that you could mark one or more of these as a favorite, but that ability also does not yet exist. So I'm going to click on Typewriter, which is very close to the top. And then I'm going to hit Play. Now it seems to type the letters way too fast here, so the quick edit menu method of controlling the duration of just the animation uses at the very top a slider bar indicating duration. The default for the typewriter animation is apparently one second, which is why it happens so quickly. 
I'm going to move the slider to five seconds or type in five seconds directly and watch the new effect. I can now click on the Out tab towards the top. And this time I'm going to scroll all the way towards the bottom and I'm going to select Evaporate Left. Once again, that all happens with a one second duration, but I'm going to change that to five seconds. There is one more animation type called loop, which will play the selected animation continuously for the duration of the title. First, I'm going to go back to both the in and out tabs and click on no animation to remove them. I'll then click on loop and I'm going to test it by clicking on fold 01, which is up near the top. Now, if it doesn't start to play automatically, I would move the playhead back to the beginning and then hit play. I can click on any of the loop animations to get an idea of what they look like. Now, if satisfied with whatever animation I want, I'll just click the X in the upper right corner of the quick edit menu to close it and return back to the main Power Director window. So as you can see, it is called the quick edit menu because things are quick and easy, but there is not much other control on certain items that the advanced title editor would offer, including the ability to keyframe some of the attributes. Now, right now, I just want to give a big thanks to all for the courtesy of your time in watching this video. Give me a like if you enjoyed it and maybe have learned something. And if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button. I'll save the complete tutorial about the advanced title editor for the next video, part three of this series. Now, it will happen in just a few days, but right now, because I live on a farm, the cows are all moving back towards the barn, and I can hear the cattle call. Till his days 